So we don't think of their real lives when we see them in a movie that attempts to transport us into a different world. Could you really look at this actress now <laughs> and not think of the trial? Should she only play bed shitters now? <laughs> A video of a TV host has been making its rounds on social media with a lot of laughter from the public. The host brought up the fact that if Amber ever appears on TV screens all people will think about is the fact that she shit on her in her ex-husband's bed. This is very humiliating for Amber but it's the truth. Once the story of her doing a number two on the bed started spreading her reputation changed. People started seeing her differently. During the trial, Amber Heard was referred to as Amber Turd, leader of the hashtag MePoo movement and this is super humiliating. Other sources like analysts declared once you SHT in someone's bed, you're just guilty of everything. Amber even fired her PR team as a result of all the negative things being posted about her. The alleged pooping incident has been one of the most viral stories to come out of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's long legal battle. Both actors have thrown allegations at the other, including emotional and physical abuse but the poop story stands out due to its graphic and somewhat bizarre nature. This was especially true after photos of the biological evidence made its way online. Amber Heard kind of took responsibility for the poop in her shared bed with Johnny Depp the night after an explosive fight. One of Depp's security guards testified in court saying that she called it a horrible practical joke. Starling Jenkins, a member of Depp's security team, testified about the feces during the trial between Heard and Depp on Thursday. Jenkins testified about accompanying Heard on the Coachella trip. Before he, Heard, her sister, and a friend of hers left for the music festival, Jenkins fetched Heard's luggage and two dogs. He later had a conversation pertaining to the surprise she left in the boss's bed, Jenkins testified, which he referred to as the defecation. On my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Depp left Heard in the apartment while he went to his house in Hollywood Hills. The next morning, after Heard left on a scheduled trip to Coachella, a housekeeper found fecal matter on Depp's side of the couple's shared bed. My initial response to that was, I laughed, Depp testified earlier, describing the reaction to seeing a photo of the feces. It was so outside, it was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh. He said Heard blamed the poop on her two dogs, an explanation Depp said he found unpersuasive since they were teacup Yorkies that he estimated weighed about four pounds each. I lived with those dogs, Depp said, I picked up their funk, it was not the dogs. First of all, I don't think that's funny. I don't know what grown woman does. I, I, I was not also in a pranking mood, I had my life was falling apart, I was um, at a crossroads. While Johnny said it was her, Amber stuck to the story that it was a dog, and even fingered a new suspect, Boo, Johnny Depp's teacup Yorkie. According to Ms. Hurd's testimony, Boo had once eaten Johnny's weed as a puppy and had bowel control issues for life. Sometimes, Boo would just drop a deuce on the floor. In this instance, where Boo allegedly did his fun in their bed, Hurd had forgotten about Boo as she was packing for Coachella. Boo left a reminder. Amber Hurd insisted it was not a prank. She was in no joking mood because her life was falling apart. Then she went to Coachella. Honestly, this is something that people won't forget about when they think about her and it's going to reflect negatively on her for a while. A fan tweeted, Can we all take a moment to remember that after Heard punched Depp in the face and his security whisked him off to safety, she shat in his bed and then her and her friends went to Coachella like celebrities on Johnny Depp's tab. Jedi level freeloading. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.